The six sigma process is known as DMAIC. DMAIC comprises five phases define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. These phases are the roadmap to problem solving and improving our processes. The effectiveness of Six Sigma method is derived from its structure. Each phase has an overarching objective and specific deliverables that need to be completed, which helps us achieve the objectives. The purpose of the define phase is to document the problem, the desired outcome, goals, and deliverables. The purpose of the measure phase is to obtain baseline process performance levels and quantify the problem. The focus of the analyze phase is to identify the key root causes for process variation and defects. The purpose of the improve phase is to develop, test, and implement the solutions. The goal of the control phase is to monitor the key factors and maintain the gains. You learn the aspects of the DMAIC process. Now we'll look at the tools used in each phase. The list of tools corresponds to the DMAIC phase in which they are used. The use or application of these tools gives the expected deliverables in each DMAIC phase for a Greenbelt. Some of the tools listed are not required in every Six Sigma Greenbelt project. These tools give us an insight into the problem and lead us toward the real issues in our processes. That is, with more experience, you're likely to know the tools you need for your projects. In the Define phase, we use SIPOC, Voice of the Customer, or VOC, Critical to Quality, CTQ, the Quality Function Deployment, or QFD, Failure Modes and Effects Analysis, known as the FMEA or the FMEA, and the Cause and Effect CNE matrix. In the Measure phase, we use Measurement System Analysis, or MSA, Control Charts, Process Capability, and Normality Plots. In the Analyze phase, we use Simple Linear Regression, or SLR, Pareto Charts, Fishbone Diagram, Failure Modes and Effects Analysis, the FAMIA, Multivariate Charts, and Hypothesis Testing. In the Improve phase, we use Brainstorming, Piloting, and also the Failure Modes Effects Analysis and Design of Experiments, DOE. In the last phase, Control, we use Control Charts, a Control Plan, and measurement system analysis. Pareto chart is a histogram ordered by the frequency of occurrence of events. It is also known as the 80-20 rule or vital few, trivial many. It helps project teams to focus on the issues which cause the highest number of defects or complaints. To explain further, the given chart plots all the causes for defects in a product or service. The values are represented in descending order by bars, and the cumulative total is represented by the line. Pareto chart emphasizes that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Thus, a Pareto chart narrows the scope of the project, or problem solving, by identifying the major causes affecting quality. Pareto charts are useful only when required data is available. If data is not available, then other tools, such as brainstorming and multivoting, should be used to find the root cause of any problem. Network diagrams are one of the tools used by the project manager for project planning. They are also sometimes referred to as arrow diagrams because they use arrows to connect activities and represent precedents and interdependencies between activities of a project. There are some assumptions that need to be made while forming the network diagram. The first assumption is that before a new activity begins, all pending activities have been completed. The second assumption is that all arrows indicate logical precedence. This means that the direction of the arrow represents the sequence that activities need to follow. The last assumption is that a network diagram must start from a single event and end with a single event. There cannot be multiple start and end points to the network diagram. Critical path method, also known as CPM, is an important tool used by project managers to monitor the progress of the project and to ensure that the project is on schedule. The critical path for a project is the longest sequence of tasks on the network diagram. The critical path in the given network diagram is highlighted in orange. 
critical path is characterized by zero slack for all tasks on the sequence. This means that the smallest delay in any of the tasks on the critical path will cause a delay in the overall timeline of the project. This makes it very important for the project manager to closely monitor the tasks on the critical path and ensure that the tasks go smoothly. If needed, the project manager can divert resources from other tasks that are not on the critical path to tasks on the critical path to ensure that the project is not delayed. When a project manager removes resources from such tasks, he needs to ensure that the task does not become a critical path task because of the reduced number of resources. During the execution of the project, the critical path can easily shift because of multiple factors and hence needs to be constantly monitored by the project manager. A complex project can also have multiple critical paths. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.